Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happened to stumble across this video, and I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. So today's video, as the title says, is going to be an unboxing for yet again another Delilah box. And I was not expecting this whatsoever because I don't even think I got a June box. Um, I thought, okay, so you guys know, if you haven't, first of all, if you haven't seen my other unboxings, because the eye is going to go to that playlist. But um, I was working with the Delilah box for about four months. Um, I had reached out to them back in December, or was it November? Either November or December, I reached out to a bunch of companies that were like book boxes created for Christians um, to just see which company would, you know, contact me back. I never got a response back, but I ended up getting a package in the mail from them, which was amazing. And then I made the video, posted it, and Taylor Hill, who is the founder and creator of the, the, the Delilah Box, excuse me, um, she contacted me and told me, um, she really liked the video and she wants to send me three months for free for review, um, to share with you all, which was, like, unexpected, totally loved it. So I ended up getting December unexpectedly then I got January February and March um so March was like I made a video saying how this is gonna be my last month getting it and whatnot I thought that was the end um but no she surprised me and kept sending me a box um or a bag rather and I was totally like blown away so June came and nothing came and I know everything is going crazy with the mail but it didn't no it didn't bother me because I just wanted to do this to share with you ladies which one I totally love that you ladies are actually purchasing the book subscription box it is amazing no I don't get commission someone asked me if I get commission um a few of you guys asked me I don't get commission um I just absolutely love the book box so much like I love everything that she offers it's phenomenal to me so I definitely wanted to share it with you guys I'm still on the lookout for other subscription boxes whether they're book related or not that are christian based but um the delilah box hands down literally like my number one right now because of what she offers she offers anywhere from two to three books that center and focus around women who are lesser known in the bible or women who are known but don't get a lot of shine um and i absolutely just love everything if you want a whole spiel look in the description box or go watch my first video but I love the Delilah box. It's about $29 and some change um, with $5 flat, like, flat rate shipping. So you're spending about $34 for the box. But you're getting anywhere from two to three books, some notepads and pens. Um, I know before I've gotten teas, I've gotten, uh, you know, cute little tweezers and just, oh, I love everything about it. And as a book lover, do I, I don't have to, I don't have to explain it right now. But um, yeah, so this morning now today is what is today oh my god today is i don't even have a calendar for me i'll tell you guys right now i'm gonna look on my switch it's not telling me what today is i'm gonna tell you guys what the day is because i need to know what the day is today is the ninth today is oh my god it's the day before my brother's birthday that's crazy my brother's getting ready to turn 19 mind blown but um it is the 9th of july i literally just got this in the mail this morning so i was like you know what nope i gotta get yeah i gotta get, gotta get dressed make a video because i was not expecting this you guys i'm not gonna i i was not like this was not even a, a thought i thought it was done and over with um but i just i want to say thank you to taylor so much for sending me this like i it was not expected i don't know what is in here i need to know i just threw out the usps um packaging and a lot of guys uh, a lot of you ladies are always asking me how does it ship um she uses usps priority mail so it will come in the flat rate uh padded envelope to you so that's how it is shipped through usps your regular mail okay not ups not fedex nothing regular mail okay your regular mail carrier it either comes with your regular mail carrier or it comes on the truck with your regular mail carrier hopefully that makes sense i'm just i'm tongue-tied as you guys can see because i was not I, I wasn't expecting it um i'm always like on her instagram like looking through uh the packaging and everything because i love it <laughs> so much i have all of my little baggies still let me see if i can grab and this is just a uh it's a one-piece outfit i know i look a little different it's a one-piece outfit it is not a dress but it's a short set with a sort of like uh, a train at the end um so let me they're not here where are they oh okay 
So I have I've, I have five, but I gave two to my mom, so I only have three right now. So you guys can see how much I enjoy the boxes. But this one was the Mother's Day, which was in May. Um, this one was February. I have four, so I gave my mom two. So I've had a few boxes, okay. And here are the other two. They're just bags, and I, I love them because as a book lover, I gotta take books everywhere, and sometimes you don't wanna get your books messed up. So I have another one. It's black with little aprons and little cookware and just so cute and the cakes and pies and love it. But um, yeah, so I don't know what's in here. I have not even looked at the Instagram just because things have been crazy in my life. Um, if you guys saw the vlog, if you haven't clicked the eye, where I'm, I posted up a vlog um, about how I feel when I'm overwhelmed or when I feel like I'm not enough because the past couple weeks have just been crazy. Um, mind you, this was like maybe a month ago that I was feeling this way. Um, I'm a lot, a lot better now, but I still have some things to work on. And I noticed that anytime God is getting ready to ship some things for me or whenever I'm getting ready to walk into something new, this seems to happen. Okay, sorry about that. My brother was in the kitchen blending and I have a sign that says I'm recording, but <laughs> this is what we deal with during summer months but anyways <laughs> um but yeah i noticed that when i'm going getting ready to make a shift or elevate spiritually um i tend to feel that way and i've gotten better um definitely much better than how i felt originally in that video but i definitely wanted to be real and authentic with you all you guys know that my main focus with this channel is to be authentic and vulnerable and real about this christian walk because it ain't easy okay and this is from someone who grew up in the church i've been a christian all my life got baptized about 10 between 10 and 12 i can't remember exactly how old i was when i got baptized because i was like a little kid but between 10 and 12 got baptized um you know been active in church but wasn't fully going hard until 2017 for god um so this is just me being real and authentic i mean i ran from church from my call for years okay for years I ran from it and um, it's coming up on a year in August that I've been ordained as an evangelist so I definitely like to keep it real and authentic but that's not what this video is about okay this video is about this beautiful 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 unboxing let's get into this rambling okay so first thing I see I feel are two pens yes so another one of these pens which I'm here for this is an ink pen it's Delilah and Grace I don't have paper out in front of me yes I do I'm going to grab this pad. Um, uh oh, paper just fell. Hey, oh well. Let me just rip a random page out. Um, I just need some paper. And I'm just going to write hi. So it is an ink pen, like a gel ink pen. That's how it writes. It's really nice. Um, and here is the other one, which just says Grace and Delilah. Which, this is just a regular ballpoint pen. And that's how, it's, that's how it writes. So, um, it's a ballpoint pen, but it does have, like, the little light at the end, as you can see. But I'm not gonna take that off. But we have that. So we have that. Let me turn off that. Okay, so, next. This? this is the July 2020 box. It's the Grace and Delilah. So, I love this. This is so cute. Giving me that real old school vibe. Um, I love, love, love that sort of retro feel. And I always love reading these from her. I'm not going to be, I'm, I'm, all right, let me be honest. I haven't read all of them. I do have a pile of all of like the little pamphlets and stuff that she's written up because I'm going to actually spend some time reading through each and every one of them. But when I do flip through them and like glance at them, you can tell that she's put her heart, Taylor, I mean, who was the founder of um, the Delilah Box, she's put her all into writing these. And I think that's amazing that you're ordering a box from someone who hand sews these bags, makes these bags by hand. That's one. Then she takes the time to write stuff out for you, like, well, type it out. But, like, she does this, like, it's letting me know that she cares about her customers and she's always there for her customers. Um, now, she has a bunch of other things which are new. Um, I'm actually going to hide this code, though. Uh, but like this soap, I still have my soap. My, it's a goat milk soap. So good. She has candles now. I don't know how they work. She has shirts. She has um, these pens. Oh, I need to. I'm gonna have to go. So on the website, you can actually get the subscription box. You can buy books on your own. You can buy candles. You can buy soaps. Um, I did not know she had pens. So I might have to go in and make an order. 
yeah but um we have the little pamphlet and then we have this is, okay so this tells you what's in the box i'm not gonna look at that yet notepad we know i love these notepads this one is blue that's different because the other ones i've gotten were like pink green i don't even know what my pink one is it's like somewhere but the other ones i've gotten are pink green white and I think I have a yellow one. One yellow. So now we have blue. This one says Grace and Delilah on the top. And um, it says Ecclesiastes 3.18. So yeah. Most of the time there's like a little a little icon here. But this says Grace and Delilah. Which is really, really nice. I like these notepads. I use them all the time. If you don't believe me. I have one here. With stuff written on. <laughs> I have one that fell on this floor. With stuff written. I, I use her notepads like all the time. I have one in the front of me with like sermon titles that I'm going to be working on yeah um so next we have this is a home collection kitchen towel and it's a watermelon and lime and lemon i think that's lemon or is it orange i'm gonna assume that's okay yeah watermelon lime and lemon that's cute now you guys know i do live at home um we do use kitchen towels but not often but i'm gonna keep this in my room for like videos and decorations for photos yes we love so we have that and there are two no um, three books in here there's three books in here guys i'm excited okay <sighs> okay i don't know what they are i know that she has a lot of books on her website as well as on instagram you can see and i love watching her instagram videos because i love seeing the amount of books she has like just stored up <laughs> first book it's by diana haggy i think that's how you say that haggy i don't know it's called hannah's song hannah's song what love looks like it's a study of faith prayer and praise first of all this cover though i'm a pink lover pink and lavender rose gold those are my colors if you guys can tell from my nails yes rose gold and lavender but uh this cover with these cherry blossoms I, I, they look like cherry blossoms i don't know if they are but that's pretty um, and it's funny because I actually did a sermon on Hannah uh, when she made her vow. So this is literally a study. Oh, submission, the act of surrender and obedience. All right, okay. This is gonna be fun. Huh. So you have the heart of the matter, biblical backdrop, sanctified, which is the beauty of holiness, sorrow, which is my sadness for his joy, supplication which is a silent cry sacrifice which is absolute submission the song which is the power of praise supernatural favor which is abiding in his blessings and significance which is destined for greatness and then you have new song um so this goes through first samuel 1 all the way to first samuel 4 as well as no excuse me first samuel 1 through 3 those are the chapters it goes through um which is amazing like you have a, she has a breakdown of like each of the scriptures you're going to be focusing on so i'm excited for this i'm excited especially since i have, I have studied hannah and i do have the hannah anointing which i need to read so maybe when i read the hannah anointing i'll read this about the same time and do a study that could be a thing that could be a thing but that's the first book and this book retails for 12.99 okay remember i told you this box is about 34 dollars total if you include the five dollar shipping fee so 12.99 Okay, hey, $2.99. That's one book. $13, basically. Next book. <laughs> I'm excited. Okay, so Diana Wallace Taylor is a author I really want to read. I own a lot of her ebooks, but I figured I would get them in physical form instead. I do own one of her books, which is The Journey to the Well, which is about the Samaritan woman meeting Jesus. I haven't read it yet, but I own it. Um, and now that my sis Steph is actually reading it, I know I need to read it now. <laughs> um, but there's a bunch of other books. And I know Jennifer and Merrick raves about um, Diana Wallace Taylor's writing. So I figured I wanted to branch out and grab some of her books. But one is in here and I'm super excited. And this one is on Claudia, the wife of Pointus Pilate. <sighs> yes. And this cover is like everything. This is everything. Now there is no price on this book. But it's from Rebel, so I'm going to say about $16 because Rebel books are always about $15.99. So this is $16, okay? I love the way this feels. Oh my gosh, this book smells so good. Yeah, there's like no price on this book though. It has the ISBN, but I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited. Yeah, she is Martha. She's Mary Magdalene. 
Um, so I definitely want to read those as well. Um, and I think she has another one. Another one. Can't remember. But I know there's a bunch of her books that I want to try. So I do own two now. So I'm going to read those two and see if I really like her writing. And if I do like her writing, I'll go out and get the other ones. But Gloria! So excited. Okay, so last book. Last book. Ooh, okay. So I know who Karen Kingsbury is. And um, she is a sort of Christian contemporary romance writer. She writes a lot of contemporary fiction with romance that really uh dives deep into faith and things like that my only problem is she has way too many books i don't know where to start like at all like she... you guys think i'm joking this is a list of all her books okay ain't nobody got time like, i mean this is all the time in the world but there's too many books <laughs> that's just i don't know where to start i've heard of the baxter series um i've heard of yeah, I've heard of the Baxters, and the Baxter series is like, the Baxters has a bunch of uh, mini series in it, and then there's the Baxters family. Like, it's just, if anybody knows where to start with Karen Kingsbury, let me know because I want to read her books. I just don't know where to start, and I might just start with this book. But this one is called When We Were Young. I am not sure if this is a standalone or if this is a part of a series. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look that up. Let me see. Do not. Okay. So, I have one of my old phones here, um, and I'm actually gonna look this up on Instagram right now because I, I have no clue. Not Instagram. I'm gonna look this up on Goodreads because I don't know if this is a standalone. I will probably read this, but this is a, if this is a part of a series, then I, I don't think I can start with this book. So, I'm going to look it up when we. All right, side note, I, you don't realize how small a phone is until you upgrade to a bigger phone. <laughs> this is the S4. I've had, okay, I'm an Android lover. For any of you iPhone people out there, I'm an Android lover all day, every day. I'm never switching to Android. I mean, I'm never switching over to Apple for anything um, at all. The most I've ever probably wanted from Apple was an iPad, but even then, I'm just like, do I really want an iPad? Apple just be having too many problems, okay? My siblings, all of my siblings now have iPhones. Um, and when they drop their phone, they get terrified. I can drop my phone and not be terrified, okay? So, I got issues with Apple. But um, you don't realize how tiny a, a phone is until you upgrade to a bigger phone. Um, yeah, so using this is funny. Yeah, see, this this is book four in the Baxter family and book 28 in the Baxter's series. I can't read this. So... I'm a little sad because I can't. I mean, you guys let me know. Can I read this out of order? Because I don't think they are. I don't, I don't even know how to. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Okay. Let's see. This is about Noah and Emily Carter. So let me see. If I go back to book one, does it follow the same love story? Because if it doesn't, I, I can't read it. I have to read the other books first, which kind of sucks. I mean, the ratings are great, though. Okay, so this is about John and Elizabeth, the first one. The second one is about, let's see. I don't know. I'm going to figure this out. But tell me, if you have read Karen Kingsbury, can I read this book by itself without having read any of the other books? Because, like I said, the Baxter series, in general, goes from here, 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 here and here this is book 28 in the entire baxter series but um in the baxter family it's book four so let me know if i can read this but this is um contemporary this is from howard books atria okay so simon issue sir i know what that is um and this book is 17 dollars. okay well, let's do some math right now let's do a little bit of math um 17 plus like i said uh Rebel books are always about $15.99, so $16, right? And then this book is $13. That's 46 bucks, okay? Not including tax. Three books for $46, whereas I'm getting the these three books plus the notepad and the pens and the and the handmade bag and the extra little um things for $34. Just saying. And let me just show you guys really quickly the website if I can if this phone will cooperate with me. I haven't used this phone in forever. Um uh, Shop Grace and Delilah. The website will be linked down below for you guys to check out on your own. Um but 
No, nope. okay, that's not right. Grace. Do, 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 do. I've been like that song has been stuck in my head for a minute. I'm gonna have to go to the Instagram to then open up the um website because I can never remember what the new website link is. Grace and Delilah. Okay, that is the website. So here's how the website looks when you look at it on your phone amazing things amazing things i'm actually going to look for a second and see i still have to try her red tea that she sent to me um in the other packaging oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god these little anemo pens i i need contains vitamins a b c d i love that i love that I have these tweezers. They're so cute. She has tumblers. I okay, I'm gonna order these enamel pens. I'm sorry. I love enamel pens. Um I don't always wear them, but I think they're cute little accent pieces to add to your outfits. Um so drink read love. Drink drink tea or coffee with the books. That's what that means. Um <laughs> night owl book club i'm just looking at um all of the things that she has on the site okay these glitter coffee tumblers are the business the business all the way so y'all know when this is over i'm probably gonna like make an order probably probably not i don't know but um i definitely do want to make an order outside of just the the, the lila box and i'm um, share with you guys some of the items that she has because I think they're amazing i definitely want those enamel pins let me see what kind of book she has going on now she has jewelry as well now um i have that book i want that book so bad i don't know why but i really want this book i own that one <laughs> oh, she has this i need that i need it and that oh my gosh and her books are not expensive they're like nine ten seven six dollars eight dollars like i'm just saying definitely gonna have to uh check this out but that is it for this video you guys as you guys know i love the lila box i highly recommend it if you are a woman if you're a mom a sister a daughter whatever the case may be if you want to buy it for yourself if you want to gift it to someone you can get them on a three six or a i think a yearly subscription if you want um but i adore the delilah box i think it's amazing and again thank you so much taylor for even sending this to me i was shocked i was not expecting this at all um my brother came and was like hey here's a package i'm like what is that and i looked and i saw the address and i'm like oh my god like had to get dressed had to make this video the day that i got it um which is never really heard of i don't normally record the day that i get something but i had to record the day that i got this box because we love we ship we love i i'm excited <laughs> i'm excited um but you guys see my bookshelf problem behind me right yeah i'm gonna have to go through my books again and get rid of books which i'm kind of sad about really sad about i don't want to get rid of any of my books because i want to read them all but i don't have enough space and i have books i have like three stacks of books on this side and i mean they're about 15 20 books high each stack <sighs> yeah yeah i know um i will have an updated bookshelf tour coming it probably won't be until the end of the year though just because i might do it at the end of the year or the beginning of next year because i think i did one for 2020 so maybe the beginning of next year i'll do that but um yeah that's it for this video thank you guys for watching rating comment subscribing all that great stuff and i will see you guys in the next one bye